Yes. Okay. Uh, so a very good afternoon to everyone. And uh, it's been an immense pleasure uh, for me to uh, express uh, gratitude towards all of you uh, for making this FDP a uh, great uh, event. And uh, this is the last time we are interacting through this FTP. But I think we have our numbers, we have our groups, uh, you know, and the FTP. So we will interact to more in future. So um, I am inviting you all and welcoming you in the valedictory session of AICT Training and Learning Atal Academy, AICT sponsored online FDP on contemporary advances in sustainable and integrated infrastructure. Uh, during last, of, uh, you can say a whole week, we are uh, having, I think, a really good number of sessions, uh, which covers all of the basic parameters, I would rather say, covering the sustainability uh, parameters on day one. Then we move towards uh, uh, the GIS applications in second day, and then we have uh, a statistical and research analysis and BIM information and today morning session by on Scilab and uh, transportation and the geotechnical aspects on glass loading as well as on the earthquake loading. So uh, I think that's uh, been a wonderful journey for all of us uh, from at Manarachna site also, as well as as your participant site also. So I would like uh, Dr. Sumita Bansar uh, head of the Department of Civil Engineering to uh, share uh, some of her words towards the end of this FTP. Sunita Ma'am. Thank you so much, Yaman. Very good afternoon to all. Uh, good afternoon, uh, It's an honor for the Department of Civil Engineering for having on board our August uh, dignitaries, our Honorable Vice Chancellor, sir, Dr. Sanjay Srivastava. Pro-Vice Chancellor, sir, Dr. Naresh Grover, Pro-Vice Chancellor, sir, Dr. Pradeep Kumar, and our registrar, Sri Arthya Arora, Associate Dean, ma'am, Dr. Geeta Nijhavan, and all our senior faculty members and participants. For us at Manav Rachna, creation and dissemination of knowledge through instructions, through interactions, is one of the core functions aligned with our strong ethos of Infrastructures in environmental, economical, and social sustainability, along with technical aspects, should be assessed and implemented at an early planning stage involving all the stakeholders. And when I talk of the stakeholders, I think each one of us present here staying on the planet, we all hold an equal responsibility towards the planet Earth. This uh, faculty development program addresses concepts of sustainability in the context of buildings, infrastructure, and conventional engineered building materials, along with modern construction techniques. In contemporary times, progress in the areas of machine learning, artificial intelligence, and data sciences have kick-started new avenues for the engineering community as a whole to reflect upon and rethink classical and modern approaches of problem solving. Conclusive experimental research premised upon computational technology paves the roadmap for sustainable implementation and as well as good integrated decision making. Over the last five days, we have had deep insights into the objectives of FTP as to mull and contemplate on on the objectives. This FDP uh, was premised on sustainable practices in infrastructure development, sustainability, green buildings, application of machine learning and artificial intelligence in civil engineering, advances in building information modeling, construction safety and quality management, risk analysis and management of hazards, modeling and simulation of transportation and geotechnical systems, GIS in civil engineering infrastructure and sustainable construction materials. The FDP actually received an overwhelming response from 84 participants and, uh, and the resource persons were with total dedication and comprehensivity. 
uh, we had uh, 14 resource courses. Three were from um, uh, from Manav Rachna itself, and the sessions were so interactive, and we had uh, an overwhelming uh, feedback from all the participants on uh, this. On day one, we started with uh, sustainable practices in infrastructure development by Mr. Shri Prakash. Uh, he's a distinguished fellow uh, from Transport and Urban Governance, the Energy and Resource Institute, India. And he actually talked of, and that was a kick starting into the FGP. He talked about the three pillars of sustainability, of course, premised on the technical aspects and computational skill based integrated decision making. Then the second session was from Mr. Sanjay Seth. He's the senior director, Sustainable Habitat. Uh, Again, Terry, the Energy Resource Institute, India, and he talked about sustainability and green buildings. He also talked about the green building rating systems, the indigenous rating system, uh, GRIHA, which India had developed, and, uh, uh, and all the uh, aspects of green buildings that we got to address what, as a citizen, we can do. Uh, and his uh, slides were so comprehensive that everyone has been asking about that kind of information uh, from that. Then the third session was from Dr. Yogesh Agarwal. He's uh, from the Department of Civil Engineering in NIT Kurukshetra, India. And he talked of all the sustainable construction materials. Uh, he also talked of all the waste materials which maybe the Mother Earth was bearing as landfills. Uh, which can be used uh, constructively into the sustainable infrastructure. Then day, uh, day two, we had Dr. Pratibha Agarwal. Uh, she's a professor in, again in the Department of Civil Engineering, NIT Kurukshetra. Uh, she had an interactive and an overwhelming uh, session uh, on applications of machine learning and artificial intelligence in civil engineering. She talked of uh, all the uh, research areas where artificial uh, intelligence and machine uh, learning can actually be implemented as far as civil engineering is concerned. But uh, of course, uh, we know that the applications are innumerous. Then the second session on day two was from Dr. Arunganchu Mukherjee, it's the name in itself, uh, GIS in civil engineering infrastructure. He talked of uh, uh, the common civil engineering aspects for GIS applications, forms of GIS data, various GIS softwares, the various platforms where we can actually uh, can get digitized maps also. Uh, third session on day two was taken by Ms. Madiha Khan. She was an example of a, uh, of a homemaker uh, sitting at home and uh, giving a session on uh, GIS with her kids around. I think all of us could uh, bear that. But then she was, uh, she she gave a good hands-on on, on uh, GIS in civil engineering infrastructure. She's been working as, uh, uh, working in GeoCAD Systems Private Limited, Noida, India. Day four, uh, day three, day three, we had Dr. Mehek Sharma, uh, her name came from so many minds about statistical analysis of data. Uh, she explained the statistical analysis in such a simple way and everybody was, uh, you know, everybody got involved in that. She also taught us about SPSS, how we can actually get initiated into it. And then she slowly took us to the advanced concepts. We had Dr. Vikas Garg. Uh, he's, uh, he's from Department of Civil Engineering, Central University. City of Haryana. He kindly uh, consented to be a part of this FDP. And he gave uh, such a comprehensive uh, 100 slides uh, presentation on construction safety and quality management and the kind of pictorial representations that he had given uh, for, uh, for the Jugaad technology, what people actually uh, opt for. Uh, they were so scary and drove the point home. Uh, we, we are actually thankful to him uh, for having uh, joined our FDP as a resource person. So, uh, then we had Dr. Chandan Ghosh. Now, Dr. Chandan Ghosh is, uh, you know, he, he was a very, uh, it was very difficult for us to make his schedule and our schedule fit in together and get him on board. 
He's a professor in National Institute of Disaster Management and is involved in the practical implementation of sustainability uh, as far as water conservation, disaster management, if all these aspects are concerned. And he's actively involved in the smart city concepts also. He talked of disaster risk reduction. Then he talked of the 12 mega trends, uh, what people uh, need to understand. Uh, vulnerability and assessment of disasters. And he gave us very simple uh, uh, soldering bottle kind experiments, which actually depicted the phenomena of earthquake and liquefaction, uh, which can be actually the readings and the pore pressures could have been measured. And we can, uh, he says that he would be publishing papers on that. And we look forward to all that. Then we had, uh, therefore, we had Dr. Shobha Srivastava. Uh, uh, her name is actually familiar to all of us. Uh, she's, uh, she came for our Art of Living session. And when she talked off, it was almost like everyone uh, here in the session had tears because she was talking as if from our heart. And how she expressed that we got to check on our mind state every hour and how we, uh, you know, be conscious of our breath. So uh, she gave a wonderful session on art of living. Then we had on day four, uh, session two and session three was taken up by Satyam Agarwal. Uh, he was from Precast Tekla Modlo, uh, Speco India. And he talked of uh, uh, advances in building information modeling. Uh, he gave us a hands-on all, all that, what we can do. Building information modeling is a kind of a part of the architecture, but then uh, when we talk of net zero energy buildings um, and um, we got to uh, know the softwares, the energy consumption, everything, how to model the buildings, how to model the energy usage. So he talked of all that. Uh, thankful to Mr. Satya Agarwal. And today was the day five. So we had Dr. Rohit Tiwari. He's the assistant professor in the School of Civil and Environmental Engineering, UNSW, Australia. And uh, he gave a comprehensive um, presentation on blast loads, how we can actually uh, have blast resistant design, how we can have metro tunnels for blast loading and how, how does soil, different types of soil, they, they would respond to a blast, blast. So he was talking of modeling and simulation of transportation and geotechnical systems. Uh, his lecture was also uh, commended by one and all. Then we had uh, Professor Dr. Brijesh Kumar for the second session and he gave us a uh, comprehensive presentation on the free and open source software for analysis, simulation, and modeling by Scilab. Uh, he gave us introduction to Scilab, Scilab commands, coding algorithms in Scilab, real-time project simulations on Scilab. Mm, we are mm, indeed uh, overwhelmed by uh, his presentation. And thank you so much. And uh, I'll give, give it to you. Um, Yaman, uh, back to you. Thank you so much. This was the FDB overview. Okay, thank you so much, ma'am, for giving such an intensive, uh, you know, overview of starting from day one and we are here at day five uh, from session one to session 14. And uh, now I request uh, Associate Dean uh, FET, Dr. Geeta Nijhavan, ma'am, to kindly address uh, the participants. Thank you, Yaman. A uh, very good afternoon to the senior dignitaries of MRIIRS, Honorable VC Sir, Dr. Sanjay Shirvastav, PVCs, Dr. Naresh Grover and Dr. Pradeep Kumar, Registrar Sir, Mr. R.K. Arora, my dear colleagues and esteemed participants. First of all, I would like to congratulate Dr. Sunita Bansal, HOD Civil Engineering Department and other members of the organizing team for organizing this FDP on such a relevant topic, contemporary advances in sustainable and integrated infrastructure. It was definitely a very well-organized FDP with a very good response from the participants. 
the resource persons were also very well known reputed person with excellent expertise in their areas and did full justice to the objectives of fdp planned for a better world there are new processes and materials sustainable as well as green building alternatives that can be used in construction today net zero energy solutions for constructions are required to account for low embodied carbon content also governments across the globe are taking various measures to address the issues of pollution caused by the construction sector contemporary computational skills in geographic information systems and building information modeling being need of the hour were addressed very well in this fdp i hope all the participants made use of the learnings here in this fdp and together we all work towards sustainability thank you all once again thank you thank you ma'am thank you so much for your kind words uh, now i would uh, you know request uh, shri rk ora ji uh, registrar uh, for manavrishna international institute of research and studies to kindly say few words <clears throat> thank you very much good afternoon to all the honorable members present in this faculty development program honorable pro vice chancellor dr pradeep kumar respected dr geeta nijawan associate dean fet dr anita bansal hod department of civil engineering all faculty members and dear participants first of all i would like to extend my heartiest greetings to all the participants who have joined us in this five days online faculty development program on contemporary advances in sustainable and integrated infrastructure sponsored by aict and it has been organized by the department of civil engineering so i congratulate dr sunita and her entire team who have very meticulously organized this event i strongly believe that everyone must have participated in it and everybody will be benefited by the interactions which have taken place during this period of 5 days as my information goes the topic is quite relevant in the present context especially when the construction sector has always faced criticism for its carbon emissions so starting from the infrastructure to the particulate emissions left behind in the air it acts, acts as a source of air and sound pollution further the conventional and non engineering buildings are neither environment friendly nor suitable to local needs so our urban centers are often described as concrete jungles manufacturing and constructive contribute about 31% of the 51 billion tons of greenhouse active gases which all have to work towards a sustainable built environment and at the same time roll out a sustainability aware generation of engineering students so during the participation of this uh, program all the partic uh, participants must have deliberated upon this problem which is a very great challenge to our pollution and to our other this uh, hazards so i wish that everybody will be benefited by the participation which have taken place i also place on record thanks to dr pradeep kumar and dr geeta nijaman who have been encouraging all their departments and they are duly being motivated to organize such type of activities activities from time to time i wish to convey my thanks to the aict training and learning academy for giving us a chance to address this issue via an fdp my best wishes to the organizing committee for successful completion of the fdp and uh, i wish that uh, i will also be invited in future also for having interaction with you uh, from time to time thanks dr sunita bansal special thanks to dr sunita bansal thank you very much thank you sir thank you so much uh... and we will definitely inviting you again and again thank you so much sir honored sir 
now so, uh, i was very, today i was very busy but uh, i could not ignore your call and i thought that yes, i must sir, attend thank to you it. so much sir sir thank you so much honored sir thank you thank you uh, so now i would like to invite uh, uh, dr pradeep kumar ji uh, uh, the prof vice chancellor and dean fet mrirs uh, to uh, address the participants uh, pradeep sir uh thank you dr yama uh so honorable vice chancellor sir dr sanjay shivaswa ji uh pro vice chancellor dr nirish grover ji very star sir mr r k roda ji uh, associate dean dr geeta head of the department civil engineering dr sunita bansal faculty members and dear participants so i congratulate uh, the department of civil engineering apt for organizing this contemporary advanced sustainable integrated infrastructure sponsored by aict under the banner of atal aict training and planning academy that is atal has given a very good platform across the nation to share and disseminate disseminate knowledge amongst the faculty members through the online abilities 84 participants and 14 resource persons they deliberated and discussed during the course of this uh, this uh, seminar starting from august 2nd to august 6th uh, and i have seen the various topics are discussed uh, during different sessions rapid growth of urbanization various factors making it a city livable and city livability index were discussed climate response uh, in, uh, in the area of sustainable development of an area and the introduction of ai concrete mix design ai techniques and detailed discussion of artificial neural network and fuzzy logic gis application expertise of gis software types of data variables coding and many other topics disaster risk reduction mega trends of park intelligence many such topics are discussed and deliberated by the participants sustainability is a global responsibility and we all need to address it through contemporary advanced processes and construction and related competition skills so now with the uh, advances of computer science especially in the area of artificial intelligence and iot also uh, the core engineering civil engineering also are being held and assisted by these uh, computational tools and i congratulate the organizing team and participation all the participant for making this Uh, use of the information and uh, sharing the information across different different domains within the civil engineering department and i hope and i request all the participant uh, whatever you learned during the last 4 5 days please conduct the relevant seminars at your institution level and share the information with your fellow colleagues and also with the students this is basically the aim of this atal uh, webinars and seminars so that we can educate more and more uh, students and faculty members in the areas of emerging technologies and students are aware of this and we can fill the gap where we feel there is a gap between the education the education and the industry requirement so that whatever we deliver to our students in the four year program or two year master program they are useful to the society in large so with this all i again congratulate the department and thanks to all the organizing team they have done a wonderful job they have worked hard free uh, the free conference and also now during the conference they have given their valuable time and provided all kind of support to participants thank you very much thank you sir thank you so much and now we would like to request uh, honorable vice chancellor sir to kindly you know address the participants uh, Professor Dr. Sanjay Shivasuji. Thank you, Yaman. Uh, Dr. Grover is not around. Ah, uh, no, sir, he is not here. Okay. Thank you, Yaman, for your kind invite and esteemed faculty colleagues from different institutions of our country who have participated in this program from past five days, and as my colleagues have said. i also reiterate and convey my gratefulness to 
AICT for trusting us and giving us this responsibility. The trinity of the program, Professor Dr. Pradeep Kumarji, who is the Honorable Pro Vice Chancellor of the University and Dean FET, one of the doers of our Faculty of Engineering and Technology, Professor Dr. Geeta Nijhavanji, the person who made it possible along with her team, Dr. Sunita Bansalji, who has given us a comprehensive panoramic pragmatic picture of what we have done in past five days. Our honorable registrar sir, and I am happy to share with you today is his birthday also. So whenever you find time, you can wish him birthday also. Let us come back to the conclusion of this program. And in these five days, what I've heard from Sita Ji that you have covered a huge length and height about three advances in sustainable and integrated infrastructure. I am neither trained in this area nor competent to talk about it. So let me talk to you something different as head of a university. And my few learning to all of you, which you can use in your personal and professional life both. If we go back to the and I will insist and request you all to read a book written by John Henry Newman in 1852. And the title of the book is The Idea of a University. 1852 and we are 2021. This book is a masterpiece and I find its relevance in almost each and every faculty development discussion. And Henry Newman concluded that university's soul lies in the mark it leaves on the students. As a faculty, it is our responsibility that our students go back as a happy, learned, and responsible family members, alumni, and citizen of our country. I am sure in your own humble way, you must be giving lots of importance to it and taking your job with utmost responsibility. Remember, if CEO of a company commits a mistake, his or her mistake may be compensated in times to come. But if faculty of an institution commits a mistake, her or his mistake can never be compensated in the life of a student. The way you carry yourself and the way you conduct yourself, that defines what kind of a teacher are you. So with this, let me come back to my few learning and parting notes of this SDP from my side. I would say that as a faculty, this is what I have said in inaugural also, and I'm continuing from there, that as a faculty, you need to ask a question to yourself all the time, that whether you are constantly contributing to the intellectual repository of whatever area you use. If you are a civil engineering professor, civil engineering faculty, are you a mere user of the knowledge or every quarterly, bi-annually, annually you contribute to that repository? If your answer is yes, then sleep well. If your answer is I am not sure, then do ask a question that then how I am justifying my role as a faculty. Because when I was a student, knowledge was a closely held proprietorship of few persons. But today, courtesy Google, knowledge, information is available to each recipient in abundance. And the question comes before us, am I taking my student beyond books? If answer is yes, 
then for sure no student will ever miss your class they will die to be in your class and at the end of the class you will have a typical aha experience as a faculty your face will glow and you will find that you are a happy teacher happy person and a happy family person my second note to you would be as a faculty in every institution we have certain limitations and all great faculties they focus on possibility rather than they focus on concerns my second request to you talk about and focus on possibility rather than focus on concerns if you do that you will find a new energy a new vigor in you and you will take your university your institution and ultimately to your own self into the next orbit my next request to you in this faculty development program today when you log off write my one sentence life begins from death i repeat life begins from death lord of shri in shrimad bhagavad gita chapter 2 verse 22 which you have heard let me repeat at the cost of repetition which says vasansi jirdani yatha vihaya navani grihati naro prani tatha sharirani vihaya jirna nayani sanyati navani dehi hindi iski ye hui जैसे मनुष्य पुराने वस्त्रों को त्याग कर नए वस्त्रों को ग्रहण करता है वैसे ही जीवात्मा पुराने शरीर को त्याग कर नए शरीर को प्राप्त होती है आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट कंस्ट्रक्टिव डिस्ट्रक्शन एज ए फैकल्टी इट इज वेरी सिंपल टू लर्न बट इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू अनलर्न वट आर दी अनलर्निंग प्रोसेस यू आर फॉलोइंग इन योर ओन लाइफ whatever notes you have created when in the year you make sure that all my ppts all my notes now deleted the process of this deletion is nothing but constructive destruction navani grihati navani dehi how you acquire and how you pick up new set of knowledge into your scheme of things if you do that you will find life would be awesome as a faculty you will never feel shy when you stand before the mirror we lie loudest when we lie to others so it is our responsibility to ensure that our students they carry every time something very different from me lastly how much criticism you get as a teacher as a faculty as a leader if you are a true leader take it from me life and leadership they always pose lot of criticism and examination before you if you get examination once in a while you are not an leader if you are criticized on monthly basis fortnightly basis reduced to daily basis and if it is reduced to hourly basis then take it from me that you are just stepping on to the right ladder of becoming a top class faculty a top class leader in life all big people they are severely criticized 
if you want to avoid criticism there is only one place which i know that is known as graveyard no criticism there people are lying as it is if you say nothing do nothing you will become nothing as a faculty open your arms and take criticism as much as you get in your life as a faculty don't be scared of giving examination don't ask that why me for sure if you are a doer for sure it will be you let me conclude my session again from shrimad bhagavad gita up to chapter 10 out of 18 chapters of shrimad bhagavad gita up to chapter 10 whatever lord has said his disciple arjuna took as it is and he said in chapter 11 which says that whatever you say to me lord i take it as truth i take it as truth in hindi jo kuch bhi aap mujhe kehte hain usko main satya manta hu satya hai ki nahi pata nahi without saying so without offending whatever you talk about yourself if you think that i can see your comprehensive pragmatic view of lord if possible show me a student is taking test of the teacher a profound student like arjuna and lord in chapter 11 which you all know it is known as vishwarup darshan yog lord showed his complete form which we call as as vishwarup and the verse goes like this tumadi deva purusha purana tamasa vishwasya param nidhanam veta si vetam cha param cha dhamam तो या तो तुम विश्वनंत रूप इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बी रेस्पेक्टेड लाइक द माइटी यू हैव टू शो योर ग्रिट योर विजडम एज ए टीचर टू बी रेस्पेक्टेड फॉलोड एंड वर्शिप्ड लाइक लॉर्ड विद दिस नोट आई टेक दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू कॉम्प्लीमेंट all our civil engineering department team dr sunita ji bansal and her entire team who work day and night to make this event possible leadership i deeply appreciate of dr geeta nijhawan ji and once again my sincere appreciation to the team leader of dean fet and the honorable pro vice chancellor of our university professor dr pradeep kumar ji and i take this opportunity to once again compliment all the faculty colleagues who joined us from different part of the country to make this program success thank you very much everyone for attending this program jai hind jai bharat thank you sir thank you so much for your kind words and always it's been a wonderful to listen you and how you give the life lessons uh, you know i think every participant in this uh, uh, fdp is going to learn something today and of course is going to uh, follow in their life uh, so uh, uh, dr sri always Sita. a pleasure sir always a pleasure to listen to you sir and your messages delivered with such composure your geeta messages we would value them for life and i wish uh, we could achieve even a fraction of uh of your messages and emulate your footsteps and of course it's a special day today and uh, we all uh, here uh, would like to wish uh, registrar sir shri arthi arora a very happy birthday sir many many happy returns of the day and wishing you all the happiness and great health sir thank you so much sir thank you vc sir thank you so much sir. 
Okay, uh, so I would like now to uh, invite the participants. Uh, uh, you can share their thoughts and feedback regarding this uh, FDP um, on contemporary advances and infrastructure in the sustainable development. Uh, so, anyone, you know? Yeah, man. Um, may I say something about the FDP? Sure, sir. Sure, sure. <laughs> First of all, I would like to thank organizer for organizing this successful FDP. Initially, I was thinking to join this FDP or not. When I saw the content and topics of the FDP, then I thought I should join this. And my decision was really right. And whenever I have attended all the sessions, they were useful uh, regarding first session, was, which was really impressive by the, on the green building, uh, by the said sir, Sanjay said, who had delivered this lecture. And then I found hands-on practice on GIS. Those lectures were really useful. And after that, they on lectures on the BIM. And they have told us how to draw. Normally, people are giving only lectures. But both, both the lectures were really useful. And today's lectures were also very fruitful for us. I am again thankful to both the coordinators, Dr. Sunita Bansal and Dr. Anjali for organizing such workshop in a professional manner. And uh, this FDP was beneficial for us. I think every participant has enjoyed this FDP. Thank you Thank so you, much. Sir. Thank you so much uh, for your kind words. And uh, I hope that, uh, as you said, every participant in this FDP has enjoyed it thoroughly. And um, uh, anyone else want to uh, share their valuable feedback? Yes, Mr. Yaman, uh, may I speak, please? Sure, sir, sure. Yeah, uh, this is Dr. Sandeep Singh now from RIMD University, Punjab. Uh, first of all, I would like to congratulate the convener of this uh, FDP, uh, Yaman, uh, and then the organizers, Dr. Sunita Bansal, HOD Civil Engineering, and Dr. Anjali Gupta. So congrats to you for organizing such a wonderful FDP. Very informative and very quality-wise, it was very qualitative FDP. Uh, I would like to uh, point out some of uh, the main parts of the FDP, uh, the people, the resource people who were associated with me uh, since so long, first of all, the organizer of this event, Dr. Anjali Gupta. We had a long association. Uh, I hope uh, Dr. Anjali is listening to me. And uh, then uh, the speaker, Dr. Yogesh Agarwal and uh, Dr. Pratibha Agarwal. We had a long association and uh, I really enjoyed their session. Dr. Vikas, who just recently just gave the feedback, Dr. Vikas, we had a long association. Dr. Vikas, your uh, session was very, very informative. And, and, and I really enjoyed the session. And I hope to have uh, a long association in future also. Thank you so much, sir. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to speak and giving me opportunity to attend this, web, uh, attend this uh, FTP. So thank you very much. It was awesome session. All the sessions were very awesome and very informative session. So thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, yes, anyone else? Uh, Yaman, sir, can I? Yes, yes, ma'am. Please, please. Uh, hi, everyone. Thank you, Yaman, sir, for giving me the opportunity to share my views on the closing of the faculty development program. Uh, starting from the first, I would like to thank all the speakers from the very first session of Mr. Shri Prakash to the last session of Dr. Rohit Tiwari, who have given a fabulous session or lectures on the different topics of sustainable and integrated infrastructure. In addition to this, I just want to thank to the Manav Rachna team for organizing such an FDP and especially thanks to you, Aman sir and Sunita ma'am, who operationalized this FDP so smoothly for all the stakeholders. I am glad that I have been a part of this FDP. Thanks to you and thank you so much, Aman sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much for your kind words. And we will look forward, uh, you know, to, to join our other events as well as 
uh, you know, workshops and everything. Sure, uh, sure. Yes, ma'am. And uh, anyone else? Uh... Good afternoon, Yemen. This is Abhishek Dixit from Assistant Professor from PSID College of Engineering. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank all the organizers for organizing such an in, uh, interesting uh, faculty development program. The topic was very interesting and very useful in the current scenario. Uh, I learned a lot during these five days uh, program. The content presented by the eminent speakers was very comprehensive and we had the opportunity to apply that in the current scenario, which is very important these days. Uh, in the end, I would like to congratulate the organizers, especially uh, Sunita ma'am, Anjali ma'am, and I would like to appreciate your hard work, Yaman, uh, in managing this FDP so well and so effectively. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you, Abhishek, sir. Thank you so much. And thank you. Uh, thank you. And uh, anyone uh, else also from uh, Manav Rajna family? Uh, so I think uh, I should uh, hand it over to Dr. Anjali Gupta, ma'am, uh, to give the vote of thanks uh, to all the dignitaries as well as all the participants, uh, you know, for their uh, time from, uh, you know, 9 to 4.30 or let's say 5 p.m. also from uh, Monday to Friday till now also. Uh, so uh, Anjali, ma'am, hand it over to you. Thank you, Yaman. A very good afternoon to one and all. Honorable Vice Chancellor Sir, Dr. Sanjay Srivastava, PVC Sir, Dr. Naresh Prover, PVC and Dean FPT, Dr. Pradeep Kumar, Registrar Sir, Shri R.K. Arora, Associate Dean, Dr. Geeta Nishavan, HOD Civil, Dr. Sunita Bansal, Senior Faculty Members and Dear Participants. It's, it gives me immense pleasure to propose a vote of thanks on this special occasion on the behalf of Department of Civil Engineering FET. At the onset, I would like to pay my deep, deep gratitude to Atal Academy to provide us opportunity to organize this five days FTP. I express my heartfelt thanks to our Honorable Vice Chancellor, sir. Sir, your gracious presence has certainly enhanced the pride of this occasion many folds. We are really grateful to you for your insightful address your words of wisdom and shlokas from Bhagavad Gita will go a long way with the participants and faculty members. I'm thankful to our PVC sir, Dr. Naresh Grover for his support and constant encouragement. I take this opportunity to thank our PVC and Dean sir, Dr. Pradeep Kumar for being the catalyst that stimulated us to do are best in standing as a pillar of strength. I am immensely thankful to our registrar, sir, for being a constant beacon of inspiration for all of us. A big thanks to our associate dean, ma'am, Dr. Geeta Nichavan, for inspiring men mentorship and being there with us as and when we need it. I would like to thank our distinguished speakers for enlightening us and making this FTP interesting and meaningful. I would like to thank our HOD ma'am, Dr. Sunita Bansal, for her tireless and sincere efforts that are in front of all of us to see. I would like to thank Mr. Yaman for coordinating this event so well. Yaman, without you, this FTP would not have been possible. I would like to thank our departmental team, uh, Mr. Afta Bala, Mr. Amit, and faculty members for their support. My sincere thanks to IT team and accounts department for supporting us as and when we needed them. And finally, a big thanks to all our participants for their active participation and making this FTP a great success. I hope together we were able to achieve for all the outcomes of this FTP. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. Over to you, Yaman. Yaman, you're on mute. Okay. 
Uh, thank you, ma'am. So I'm just saying that uh, thank you, Anshi, ma'am. And as I said, it's not a, you know, it's like a say it's not 100. It's like collective effort from Manarishna side as well as the participant side. Because after seeing the registration uh, numbers and the participants not from the North India, we are having uh, participants from South India, we have from Eastern India, Central India. It's like whole, uh, you know, diversity is there in this uh, particular faculty development program. So I would just like one more thing. Uh, there's a uh, comments are there. So I really want to thank uh, uh, Gufran Ahmed ji, Sakshi ma'am, and Jyoti ma'am, Yavuna ji, and uh, Bhavisha ji, uh, Dr. Rajiv Kumar uh, for uh, you know uh, giving your feedbacks uh, on the chat box. I just want to have one more request to kindly switch on all your cameras. Uh, so that we can have a group photograph with all of our participants and dignitaries. Just for a moment. For a moment. Thank you so much, everyone. We've yes. actually enjoyed putting it all together. Yes, I'm just uh, taking a little few uh, screenshots. Um, so it will be really helpful for every each and us remembering each other in the future also. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, as uh, thank you so much. And the feedback um, as, as form uh, assessment form is already shared in the chat box area. And uh, you can also uh, find the feedback form in the, uh, 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 the WhatsApp group also. So uh, this will be having overall feedback of the FDP as well as the assessment of 50 questions. Uh, so the feedback form will be open till, uh, let's say uh, it's 3.54 p.m. So till 5.30 p.m. We, it's open because you have to give a little bit of time for uh, giving the overall feedback of the FTP and then the assessment will be there. So we will uh, off uh, taking the responses uh, from five uh, at 5.50 p.m. Sorry, 5.30 p.m. I'm sorry. And, uh, and you know the requirements I'm telling you again, 60% uh, marks uh, in this uh, MCQ plus 80% attendance and plus feedback form at the uh, Atal AICT platform. Uh, so from the both of our ends, we will be uh, that, that minimum requirement for you guys to uh, you know, get a certification for this FTP. So in the end, uh, I'm uh, really, really thankful for each and everyone for your time. Ma'am, you're, you're, uh, ma you're muted. We've actually enjoyed putting it all together for you. I, I thank VC sir and our pro vice chancellor sir, Dr. Pradeep Kumar. I request you sir to please sign off. Uh, thank you very much, Dr. Sita, and uh, a big congratulation to all the faculty members enrolled in making this FTP a great success. So wishing all thank the you, best. Sir. Thanks a lot. Thank, Thank you, sir. Your inspiration, sir. Thank you. Okay, so thank you, everyone. We'll wait. Okay. We'll wait for VC, sir, to please sign off.
so thank you once again and uh, i think uh, the the responses are coming on the feedback form so uh, yeah it's it's working i think so thank you once again and uh, any uh, i will uh, i shared the ppts that uh, the speakers has given their consent to share so i will try other presentations or the video recordings of the practical sessions also because unless and until you are not uh, uh, you know practice that then I, i think it won't be that much helpful so i will try my best to get that recordings for you and we will be sharing on that on the uh, group itself so thank you once again from my side also um, thank you